what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video we're going to be talking about some other details that i have come across regarding jeepers creepers 4 the potential chance of it finally being set in 2024 which is i know something that we have all been waiting for since 2003 for a lot of us a lot of us have been waiting for it ever since we thought jeepers creepers 3 was going to be the story picking up in the taggart barn set 23 years later with trisha and the taggarts hunting down the creeper trisha getting revenge for her brother we know she was supposed to be some powerful wealthy business woman by now and she was funding some type of in in game for this monster that took her brother and has terrorized a lot of other people that wanted to come together to put an end to it once and for all before it woke up in that barn so while people do want to see this film take place 23 years later i think what a lot more people are interested in is trisha's story being continued i just want to reinforce that while i am interested in that i would prefer to see that i'm not against the film not following trisha's story what i am ultimately wanting i'm tired of the year 2001 i want us to pick up in 2024 i want us to get out of the taggart barn if they include it that's fine if they don't include it I'm not gonna say it's fine, but as long as something is hinted towards it as to how he is now back and it's confirmed that it's 2024 and it's still keeping the other films canon and now they're just going off doing their own thing, I am fine with that. I am just tired of us not getting 23 years later. Something that has been teased since the end of the second film, which was almost in itself 23 years ago. So here's the image that I was gonna show. I found another image about or from the set not the set, but one of the locations they shot at for Jeepers Creepers 4 were born. Jeepers Creepers were born. Um, we know it's going to be at a horror convention, so horror fans, geeks are coming together. We're following two two kids or a relationship between two people, Chase and Lane. Uh, so now look at this. You see two Pennywise costumes in this image. One is from 1990, that 1990 Tim Curry version. The other one is clearly... An homage or reference to Bill Skarsgård's Bill Pennywise from 2017. Now, if this film is not set in the year 2024, I do not know why such a big time time error, such as these Pennywise costumes, will be dealt with in a manner that's so not necessarily illogical. Because maybe it did. Because the the world doesn't have to be an exact mirror of our world, but this image here is basically the biggest hint we have right now that this movie is in 2024 because these horror fans and geeks are apparently aware of two it adaptations the other it film came out in 2017 if we're set in 2024 that would be perfect for them to be wearing a costume like that because the other pennywise wouldn't exist otherwise and we know that the the new writer sean michael argo he is very much so a fan of the films as i asked him and if you are a fan i can only imagine how i can only imagine the things that you would want to do with this franchise if you are someone who wants to carve your own path but still pick up 23 years later as it has been teased since the second film so i'm pretty confident that's what was gonna what's gonna happen this time also here's this image from brad rushing who was one of the cinematographers of the film he teased two fan favorites just pay attention to the last paragraph if you want to read the whole thing it'll be up on the screen for a while but the last paragraph states i cannot wait to reveal the names of the two legendary fan favorite actors i was privileged to work with and share some of the marvelous movie magic we we wielded we wielded to pull off the shoot when logistics for our original plans went awry so two legendary fan favorites he could be talking about people from Jeepers Creepers. He could be talking about two legendary horror actors. Uh, fan favorites. He says he can't wait to share the names of them. People are speculating that it's Ray Wise, Jonathan Breck, or Gina Phillips. One of those three. Now, I just want to talk about Jonathan Breck. Jonathan Breck just celebrated a birthday this year. And I think it would be pretty disheartening to, to celebrate a birthday this year. Only to find out that they made another Jeepers Creepers film. And you will not be returning to play this character that we associate you with. You made it made it your own thing. That character is synonymous with you because of what you have brought to the table in the three films that we've gotten. Regardless of Jeepers Creepers 3 being trash, Jonathan Breck's performance in all three films has been nothing but it's just been an excellent portrayal of this monster. He's he keeps the charisma. He keeps the, the terror alive. So. 
I hope Jonathan Breck is back as the creeper. So I would imagine he's not one of the fan favorites as this is a given. He could be. Uh, I hope he I hope he's in this film. I hope he is. But if he's not, give the new creeper a chance. Just give him a chance. We have to see it first. Uh, it could be Gina because I know a lot of people, they want Gina back. They want Gina Phillips back. We all know that Victor had wrote his script for four. We're not going to get that. Uh, where Gina was going to be the lead. We're not going to get anything like that. Where Trisha was going to be back. She's leading the film. That's not going to happen. We were supposed to find out what happened to her over the 23 years. I don't see that happening. Doesn't mean she can't still be back. She could be one of the fan favorites he's referencing. But no telling if that's the case. This could be someone else. We could be talking about Giselle. He could be talking about uh, some other character. But of course, we're going to lean towards what we want to believe in and what we want to have faith in. And I did find some other things. I found this image of Jeepers Creepers 4 floating around them filming. This is this looks like it's going to be a scene from the film. This was something that one of the crew members posted on their Instagram account. In the center, you have the first person I talked about in my last video, Peter Brooks in the center. On his left, you have I'm not I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name right, but it's M. Imran Adams. You can go ahead and look him up on Google. This is an image from Jeepers Creepers 4. It looks like, of course, it'll be a scene in the film where they are stumbling into. If you've been seeing these images, it looks like there's an abandoned house of sorts. This could be at that festival where they might go into this house. The creeper could be in there. A lot of people have speculated and some not speculated, but brought up this theory. What if the creeper wakes up? at this festival like he's been stolen from the taggart farm for this festival he got stolen from the taggart farm and they just brought him to this festival now i think that would be a cool idea i don't necessarily think that's what's going to happen if it does i'd be fine with that just something that will confirm we're in 2024 you don't have to do trisha's story you can save that for later i just want something that's in 2024 don't expect a film that's on the same level as the first movie just don't Please don't <laughs> expect something that's borderline everything that was wrong with Jeepers Creepers 2 slightly better than three that just honestly going with those expectations. It's not it's not like the mystique of the film is gone. Like when I say the mystique, I'm not talking about the character. The character still has potential, but the mystique of that first film is gone because the mystique you have from the first film is gone because the mystique, in my opinion, came from the fact that. For first time people watching that we thought i thought the whole time this was a some deranged serial killer who had an abandoned church a old rusty truck and he's just been killing people and getting away with it only to find out this is not a man that's like that mystique is gone that's gone i think that's what ultimately is going to keep making the original so much better that whole mystique for anyone who watches the first film you're it you're constantly being being brought to question is this what is this is this a man is this something demonic until it's revealed yes this is in fact something demonic in nature and you're still not sure what it is it's like that mystique's gone because the cat's out of the bag we know this is something non-human <laughs> so i don't think we should expect jeepers creepers reborn jeepers creepers 4 to be some top tier film that's going to be able to rival jeepers creepers jeepers creepers in itself has its issues but that mystique is of what was brought in that magic of the first film that can't be duplicated anymore that can't be duplicated i don't think it can it's impossible i think now we're just on the verge of just getting fun sequels that are hopefully decent to watch the acting in here probably might be uh subpar at best i'm just telling you what to go in with as far as expectations don't expect some grand spectacle of a film just expect something that's decent and oh, certainly better than three no doubt hopefully there's no way there's no way this is worse than three if it is oh my gosh that's 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 a good job there <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below about all this stuff i found uh what do you think is going to happen with jeepers creepers 4 do you think it's gonna be 23 years later if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and miss the video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video also i'll leave a link down to the facebook group you can join it and discuss jeepers creepers along with us